Hi, I'm John with Tax TV. Here with some important information about the difference between two types of taxable corporate acquisitions. When a corporation is purchased, the deal may be structured as either a purchase of the corporation's stock or assets. There are numerous reasons, such as licensing or regulatory requirements, why a corporate acquisition may be structured as a stock or asset purchase. At the forefront of structuring a transaction are the tax implications. On the target side of the deal, the most important tax distinction is that the asset transaction is a double tax event, one at the entity level and the other at the shareholder level, while the stock transaction is a single tax event. For purchasers, the primary tax benefit of an asset transaction is access to certain tax attributes immediately, such as deductions. In an asset acquisition, the target company sells its assets to the purchaser, and the target company recognizes a gain or loss on the sale of its assets. The target company pays any tax liability before distributing the remaining proceeds to its shareholders. As part of determining the tax liability from the transaction, the target company generally includes any assumption of liabilities by the purchaser. The shareholders look to the difference between the proceeds received and the basis in the stock of the target to calculate their tax liability. If the target does not liquidate, there can be complicated issues in determining gain for the shareholders. On the other side of the asset transaction, the purchasing company takes the assets with a cost basis providing certain deductions, such as depreciation or amortization of purchase price. As a result, the parties must allocate the purchase price across the acquired assets. The parties generally agree on how the purchase price will be allocated, filing a form with the IRS. The shareholders of the target company would only recognize gain or loss on their stock upon liquidation of the target company. In a stock acquisition, the purchaser buys the stock of the acquired corporation directly from its shareholders. The shareholders would recognize gain or loss on the sale of their shares. Importantly, the purchaser will take the assets of the target corporation with the same basis in the assets as the target corporation held the assets. This is important because corporations are allowed to take deductions for the depreciation of certain assets. If the basis of the assets is higher, the purchasing company would be able to deduct more. However, be careful, since not all tax attributes of the target corporation are available after the acquisition, such as Section 382's limitation on losses. Due to business restrictions, such as regulatory or licensing situations, the parties to a transaction may be required to structure the deal as a stock acquisition, but the companies may agree to the economics of an asset transaction if the stock acquisition is eligible under Section 338 which treats the acquisition as an asset acquisition. If the 338 election is made, the assets inside the corporation get a step up in basis and the benefits of a higher basis for depreciation and amortization. For more information about the 338 elections and tax-deferred reorganizations, check out TaxTV.com.